I've had the chance before becoming leader and since becoming leader to hear directly from families that are struggling so much because of the promises that were made but were not kept by the Ford Conservatives on dealing uh, with autism supports and services. So I am very comfortable based on all of the research that we've done, including collaborating with those who are on the front lines who are struggling uh, in this regard, that what we've included in our plan, our fully costed plan, will get us to where we need to be as it, as it requires or as we uh, as we need to be as it relates to those who require autism services. About autism, uh, first and foremost, is that it is despicable uh, what's been happening to children uh, and their families, uh, children with autism and their families for a long time now. Uh, the, the families of children with autism and the advocate groups that have been working on their behalf, mostly made up of parents of children with autism, uh, have, uh, have fought Liberal governments for years and have fought the Conservative government for years. Doug Ford promised those families uh, that he was going to fix the autism uh, uh, scenario, the uh, treatment uh, uh, opportunities for kids, and he made it worse. He doubled the wait list. Uh, so what we are saying to these families is we are going to design a, a program with you that meets the needs of your children. That it was an absolute disaster what we inherited. Uh, they needed funding immediately when we got in the office. We put, we doubled the funding to $600 million. That's more funding per capita than any jurisdiction, not in Canada, but in North America. We looked this up. There's no one that's supporting the autism community more than our government. But do you know what, do you know what I'm hearing out there? And I'm hearing it more and more, and I, I, I've heard it for the last four years. We, we got to really focus, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on when, when the kids are past 18 years of age, and I've talked to so many parents, as the parents are getting older, they're concerned on who's going to take care of their, their adult uh, uh, person with autism. Their, their kids that are now adults that are living at home, they're extremely concerned. So I, I want to personally focus on, on that, along with getting the, the backlog cleared up.